so Shane Dawson got a new dog but does it matter what dog a celebrity has? Well I think it does even if you don't know who they are so stick around and find out why. Hi I'm Dr Alex from Our Pets Health helping you and your pet to live a healthier happier life. So today I want to talk to you about why I think the fact that Shane Dawson has a new dog is important even if you don't know who he is and you really couldn't care less. So if you don't know Shane Dawson is a YouTuber he has his own channel that has 12.3 million subscribers and that's his main channel he has other ones and he averages between 5 and 7 million views for each video that he puts out and he puts out a couple every week on average and he has 3.3 billion that's 3.3 billion views in in entirety on his YouTube channel so he clearly has a lot of people who are interested in him invested in him in him who care about him and will care and listen to what he has to say so that is what one reason why I think it is important to discuss you know the fact that he's got a new dog even if you don't know who he is he's got a huge following of people who are really invested in him so today he released a, a new video we got a new dog after kind of building it up over a couple of days on snapchat and twitter um, and instagram and you know i think that's important as well so he's you know chosen to bring a new dog into his into his life but he's also chosen to make content about that to to try and bring in an audience to try and keep his audience and to try and monetize that that dog as well so i think that adds an extra level of responsibility to him and to any celebrity any person in uh, a position of power or with influence they really need to think about what they're doing and what knock-on effects that would have so i think this regards this this involves anyone so not just shane dawson um but any celebrity you know going back in the past we've got paris hilton you know plenty of other people who have been well known for you know having their dog everywhere they go um or you know have sought publicity when they've got a new dog i mean if you go through youtube we got a new dog we got a new puppy you'll see a string of videos from some very popular youtubers so shane dawson certainly isn't alone in this but this is why i think that he has got a responsibility to his viewers and to the dog not just his dog but to dogs as a whole to the dog population it's a huge opportunity for him to push forward the welfare of his dog and for all other dogs really to the forefront of people's minds so it's a great opportunity for him to to put forward maybe new ideas he's got a younger demographic in his audience so people who may not have thought about some of these things although they might seem fairly straightforward to you um, you know if you're really into your into your dogs but he can discuss you know the thought process behind getting that dog he can any any celebrity can go through the research steps that they've taken so you know choosing a breed that maybe is appropriate for their lifestyle and when they've decided on what breed you know discussing maybe what issues that they might have that they're looking out for and that they're hoping to avoid in the dog that that they get they can help push the fact that we want to get our puppies get our new dogs from responsible breeders we don't want to be supporting puppy mills in any way we don't want to be supporting pet shops we don't want to be buying puppies from pet shops because the vast majority of them come from puppy mills so we can get people thinking you know where should i be getting my my new dog from you know after the new dog has been acquired the grand reveal has been done we can you know our celebrity can then discuss the socialization that they're needing to be to, to to be participating in all the planning that that takes all the work and the effort that takes and then after that socialization the training so you know a happy dog is generally a well-trained dog you know that gives them mental stimulation they they're a great part of the family so just going through again the work that needs to go in uh, when you get a dog so you know not just glamorizing the the cuddling of puppies putting forward that a dog is a commitment and a lifelong commitment so really you know emphasizing that is not something to be taken lightly so you know these are all things that celebrities can do when they get a dog so it's a huge opportunity and it brings a brand new audience to these ideas so people who won't necessarily you know watch educational content like of that sort um, you know just give new ideas and it may not influence them now but as they get older when it comes to buying their first pet you know these seeds will have been sown already and it will make all the difference for the future future pets all that being said that's a, a kind of a general 
you know guideline if you like of opportunities that celebrities have if they get a new dog and if they choose to publicize that especially but what did Shane Dawson do well for a start he got a rescue dog now that's fantastic there are about six and a half million dogs that go through the rescue uh, the shelter system in the US alone you know it's a worldwide problem so every country the UK Australia every country will have a stray population and in the US of those six and a half million about one and a half million will be euthanized and actually that's something that he touches on as well he says you know we got this dog and that was potentially her fate that she was potentially going to be euthanized so again it puts it in their mind that you know these dogs they're not all rehomed some of them are unfortunately euthanized for no fault of their own just because they don't have don't have a home to go to so Shane Dawson then went on to discuss the rescue organization which is great it gave them publicity and he's actually raised um, money um, and sponsorship to get them a new van which is fantastic and launched a just giving page as well um, and I'll put a link of that just down below if you're interested so that's again great it sounds like um, you know these ladies they did a fantastic job you know and it often goes very unrewarded and people really just do it for the love of of the animal and you know it's it's incredible work that people do who work in these rescue organizations and shelters and things like that um, and you know that's fantastic that it highlights that um, and encourages you know donations um, and just general awareness too so he also acknowledged that dogs do take a lot of work that it's not just something that you want to rush into you know ideally you want to think about it you want to be sure that you want a dog or an extra dog or obviously a cat or an extra cat in your life that it's it is a commitment um, and you know he clearly loves the dog he's got other pets so he's got another dog and another cat and and we saw them being introduced certainly the dog seemed to get on fantastically well um, and we saw a slow introduction of the cat allowing allowing the cat to to just come up to the dog at its own time and of its own choosing um, and you know that's fantastic as well it gives us something to think about you know we all just get very excited if we've got a new dog in the house but you know we need to think about our existing pets too and then finally he highlighted that pets are part of the family and you know he was clearly welcoming this new dog into his family and he was saying how excited he was that his family was growing so you know that's great as well because again it highlights that you know our pets they're not just disposable things that you can discard once you get bored of them or if you don't fancy taking them for for the walks that you thought you might that pets are a long-term commitment uh, and not to be taken lightly they are part of the family after all so you know those are just a few things so I think you know overall he did a pretty good job um, and that's just as well you know he's got a lot of responsibility out there but you know fantastic I mean doesn't care what I think but I think that was you know really good um, certainly encouraging rescue um, you know rescuing dogs from shelters um, rehoming them adopting them and bringing them into your family is a fantastic thing to do you know it's not for everyone and if um, you know people want a, a new puppy from a breeder of a certain breed then that's fine there are issues with that um, as well but you know having a rescue is great and highlighting just the importance of the commitment that they take it's not something to take on lightly so you know and I think that's why it's important for, for any celebrity or any well-known person especially when they choose to publicize the fact that they're getting a dog to take that opportunity to, to educate their audience and there's certainly no reason that the education has to be boring it can be done in a very entertaining way and consistent with you know the the value that they're bringing their audience anyway so yeah I just thought wanted to, to put those points down um, and just to give you my thoughts um, I'd be interested to hear what you have to say if um, you could leave me in a a comment down below that would be fantastic so also if it's your first time here consider subscribing uh, if you want more videos that discuss how to keep you and your dog or your cat as healthy and as happy as possible and that's what we're all about here at our pets health because they're family